By 1963 and five years of research, Lockheed had shifted the leading edge of the wing forward, removing the canards and moving the engines from within the plane to under the wing, resembling the final design that would be pitched to the contest. This final design was called the L2000-1 and was 223 feet or 70 meters long and had a narrow body fuselage of only 132 inches wide or 335 centimeters. This would mean that the passengers would have to sit in a 2-3 configuration in economy or a 2-2 in first class for a total of 170 passengers or up to 200 if all economy. To help reduce the production time and cost, Lockheed looked to its other projects for engines, and it had the perfect one. The Pratt & Whitney J58, famously used on the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, could be slung under the wing and provide the supersonic thrusts that the plane design required.